through his representative, that is. So Will Smith, uh, you know, his representative is speaking out on his behalf, saying this story uh, that is being, uh, you know, told on the Internet by a gentleman who goes by the name Brother Belial is unequivocally false. Now, I want to read to you the statement that the representative released to TMZ just a few hours ago, but I want you to stay with me because we're going to talk about a few other things, okay? So let me go over here to this particular slide. So this is the statement from Will's rep. This story is completely fabricated, and the claim is unequivocally false. Further, TMZ says here, a source close to the situation tells us Will is considering taking legal action following Belial's remark. Well, here's the deal with the statement. Those of you who've been following the Smiths, if you'll remember a couple of years ago when R&B singer August Alsina sat down for an interview with uh, DJ uh, Angela Yee, She was at that time a part of the Breakfast Club, but she also had her own thing going, not to the degree that she has now. A part of his statement when he revealed, listen, I actually got Will's permission to start a relationship with Jada because he said, you know, they both told me we're no we're married, but we're not married and we see other people. But you do have to sit down with Will and get his permission. One of the things that happened right after that is Will and Jada's representatives came out and denied the story. This is not true. This this never happened. You know, in essence, she's never been in a relationship with this gentleman. Well, then the red table talk happened, right? So another example of how these reps are not really connected to their clients and they put out these statements that aren't true uh, and then the, the person later has to come back and tell the truth The same thing kind of happened to Wendy Williams. A lot of you remember in 2017 when she fainted on her show for that Halloween show. And then after that, all the mess, the Daily Mail released the photos of her husband at the time, Kevin Hunter, with who was at the time um, his side chick, his girlfriend, Sharina Hudson. Wendy came on her show and said, all is well in Huntersville. And these are all lies. Yeah, their reps put out statements. This is all a lie. We're going to sue. And uh, when when the allegation was made that Sharina was pregnant by Love B. Scott, we're going to sue B. Scott. We're going to take legal action. Uh, B. Scott even said that they received a cease and desist letter. Now the girl was pregnant. They were getting a divorce. And then there were rumors that Wendy was in a drug uh, rehab and she denied it, denied it, denied it. Her reps denied it too. And then what happened? One day on her show, dressed in all black, uh, during the show at the end, she announces to the world through tears, I have been living in a sober living facility. So my point in bringing up these examples is that we can't trust these reps, okay? We just can't, guys. They're doing their jobs, you know? Now, l- now let's transition, okay, to, to a different part of our conversation. By the way, I love hanging out with you. Thank you for being here. Be careful if you're listening to this while you're driving. Um, Here's the deal. I believe Brother Belial. Now, what this gentleman's real name is, we don't know. Let me just say this, too, because I know some of you haven't been following the story because you're not a blogger. And and it's really not interesting, you know, really, just tell you the truth, because we all got real things going on. The world has real things going on. Um, But, you know, it is entertainment news, and, and that's just pretty much the way that it is. So if you've not kind of been following this, you may have some pieces of the puzzle missing. What got all this started that we are aware of is that Will made Brother Belial mad. Okay. So Brother Belial's first interview was with Comedy Hype. Okay. That interview is available on Comedy Hype on on the internet where he never mentioned anything like this. He just kept saying Will has a secret Jada knows what the secret is. It's a secret or, you know, she has something over his hanging over his head. She has information that no one else has. But it was very interesting that on that interview, he did not mention and make this this claim about walking in on them. He didn't even say that Will was bisexual or a homosexual. He didn't say any of that. He just alluded to this. Okay. now during that interview, he said, Will Will's people called me and they wanted to put me, they said, Will wants to put you in his book, his memoir, I am Will. And he said, I was against it because I didn't want him to expose certain things about me and about my life. Now, what that was, I don't know. 
So he said that eventually he got on board with the project and he started going around with Will promoting the book. I mean, there are actual videos out there of he and Will together where Will said, I put you on. I did this. I did this right. And Blau was just a smiling away. So obviously the money he got paid to go ahead. He was okay. That money made him okay with being in Will's book. But we know how authors do. They change the name of whoever they're talking about or the date of an incident to protect people's privacy. So this guy is in the book by some name, you know, we just don't know, but we know he's in the book. And then he says, you know, Will made him angry. Jada wanted to kick him to the curb. And he said, I figure if you're going to go out telling all my business, I'm going to tell yours. So I, I, I say again, for people who don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, and I'm not saying they should, I mean, this is not that interesting, as I've already said, not to mention it's kind of a, what I call a nasty kind of story, you know, kind of, you feel like you've been kind of rummaging in the trash when you talk about, after you talk about it or while you're talking about it. Um, people are saying he's just doing this because he's angry. He, he actually said that. So, you know, yes, <laughs> but re- remember what I was saying to you the other day, he's like anybody else. You know, y'all, some of us are really ridiculous. You know that? And I've been ridiculous in my life too. And I may be tomorrow. It just depends. You know, what I mean is we keep saying, how could you be somebody's friend and turn on them? They're not friends, dear. (laughs) Listen, we can't expect a non-friend to follow the rules of a friendship. (laughs) It'd be one thing if they were still friends and he came out and said, I saw this and I saw that and he did this and she did that, but they're no longer friends. So when people are no longer friends, we don't expect them to behave the way a friend would be. Do you understand what I'm saying? So some of the commentary that I'm saying, heck, some of the comments I'm saying are really laughable. I'm like, are people really thinking like sometimes I have to ask myself that, okay, did you really think before you said that? No, you didn't. You were just being emotional. You didn't really think it through and you made this bad decision or what have you. So I'm just kind of sharing that with you guys that we all have to check ourselves. It's like, no, why would he, he's not this guy's friend or else he wouldn't be out telling the man's business. Okay. He's angry. He's hurt. That's what anger, that's the, that's the root of anger is normally you hurt me or I hurt you. And so now we're lashing out and all these things. And so Um, I believe him. You want to know why I believe him? I believe him for a number of reasons, but the main reason I believe him is because he knows Will. He knows him. And we know that because there are videos of them together in pictures. So, and and I'm talking about that go back years and years and years ago. I'm talking about all the way back to the nineties. So we can't say that he was like a random friend that used to hang around. No, he was somebody in the inner circle for real, for real. And here's another thing. He knows he could be sued. So so the, the rep said, you know, they're thinking about taking legal action. They're not going to take any legal action. Just like allegedly they were considering taking action against August Alsina, but they never took no legal action. They came out and told the truth. So you can't take, I can't take legal action against someone who we know is telling the truth. And so I really think that Will... And Jada or Jada, whoever, they're going to have to come out and actually address this because Tasha K, despite, you know, whatever, um, she's known by the media because of the Cardi B lawsuit. And I just don't think this is going to be this is unlike all the other times people have said different things. Right. This is this is very different because um when Belial did the interview with Andre Gorgeous Dre Taylor, he said to him, I showed you videos before this, this live. He didn't, didn't I? And he said, yes, you did. He said, and I also showed you pictures, didn't I? He said, yes, you did. He said, I have receipts to back up every single thing that I'm saying. And he said, Will knows what those receipts are. So what I'm saying, guys, is that this is crazy, but this is why we have to, you know, tell our own truth and not let someone take our truth out of our hands and slap us all upside the head with it, embarrass us all. Um, You know, I said the same thing about Tim Scott, whether Tim Scott is or isn't doesn't matter. But what, what what does matter is that we don't allow people to take our truth from us 
thereby taking our power away from us. So the bottom line is he's going to have to come out. This is not going to die down. This is not going to be like all the other rumors. Cat Williams on his tour a million years ago saying something, such and such saying something, such and such. This is different because this man is saying, I have receipts. And he said, he even told, um, that's why I encourage you guys to, to watch the interview he did with uh, with Andre Taylor because he said a whole lot. And to my knowledge, the only thing that Tasha has released on her platform is like that two, that under three minute little video clip. But this guy on that interview, he has said a whole lot of things. But one of the things that he said on there is, I challenge Will, I t- challenge Dwayne Martin, I challenge Charlie Mack, I challenge, he listed off a whole people, a bunch of people, I challenge them to come out and deny what I'm saying. So see, this is different, y'all. This is somebody who who knows what he's talking about. And regardless of where you stand on the issue of whether he should be telling, whether he should, you know, my stance is he has a right to tell it. Because when we do things, good or bad, if somebody was there, it's no longer just our experience. It's theirs as well. And I know a lot of people like to argue with that. But then again, are you trying to hold someone to a code of friendship when they are no longer friends with somebody. I mean, you got to put yourself in that situation. If you were no longer friends with somebody and they made you mad and they told all your business, what would you do? See, we could all say, Oh, you know, I wouldn't say a word. I'd go take it to my grave. Would you? No, I know myself, honey. I ain't that bit. I'm, I'm not an angel. I'm a human being. And yeah, I'd be pissed and I'd tell it to Yeah. By the way, he did this and he did this. And <laughs> See, you got to know yourself and you got to know that this is normal human behavior doesn't make this man a bad person. Now he could be a bad person, but this right here is not what's going to make him a bad person. This right here makes him human. He got pissed. He was ticked. He's angry. He's hurt. And yeah, he's coming out and telling what he knows. So you know what? Jada doesn't have the red table show no more. Does she right? Y'all am I right about that? Um, so, and she's already been on the today show a quadrillion times. But this is going to be something that has to be addressed by them. We're going to have to see them. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Brother Belial has done what he told the guy on John at Comedy Hype he was wanting to do. He said, I'm going to force him to come out and tell his story. He said that. He said this. You could, he said you could look at this like an intervention. And is, that's exactly what he's doing. He has now come out with this stuff to where he's going to force this guy to come on out and say, yay or nay, once and for all, you know. Now, here's another angle to this. At first, Brother Belial would not say when his book, Will Smith Demonic Circle, was coming out. And at one point, I kind of wondered if this was a real book. Because, you know, anybody can put together a great slide with a book cover that makes it look great, right? But it's like, hmm, you know. But then, during his interview with Andre Taylor, he said, because Andre asked him, when, when is this book coming out? And he said, it's coming out. And we've had to push it back to February. Now, he did tell John at Comedy Hype, you know, we were supposed to come out with it earlier. And then uh, Will and Jada got wind of it. So they put her book out first. And, you know, that kind of would make sense, guys, that they would want to get ahead of the story by saying we haven't even been married. We're married on paper, but we're not married. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you kind of put the, the dots together, you can see that this guy ain't lying. Now, he may lie about something else, but he ain't lying about this. He's too strong on it. He's too willing to say, I challenge all of them to come out and deny what I'm saying because I have receipts and they know it. So that's the truth, y'all. And, you know, it doesn't change my view of Will Smith. I don't care one way because, you know, we talked about no wanting to know because we're just all basically nosy as human beings versus caring about this. I don't care. It's not going to change my opinion of him at all. But what I don't want to see happen if he's already fragile mentally because of all the stress of whatever, don't let this man go around it. Just come on out, make you say, listen, call Hoda, <laughs> call Oprah or whoever, call Gail and say, listen, we need to do this. You know, at this point, he needs to get control of this narrative because this guy who's probably going to tell one another story on him and tell another story about something he saw, all these receipts, if he even releases a piece of the receipt, that could destroy his career. Now, him being gay or him being bisexual would not destroy his career. But letting somebody start ragging on you like this, without that right there, you're going to have to do major damage control. He needs to take control of the narrative and just be truthful. Yes, or no, it's really just that simple, I think, y'all. So leave me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for joining me. We will continue to follow the story of Belial, Brother Belial, and see what else happens. Thanks so much. Thank